Hello and welcome to Boost Quest, a let's play of Civilization VI where today I'll be playing as China on a Seven Seas map and I have Secret Societies on and the Tech and Civic Shuffle mode. I'm actually also going to just go in here and choose to not have a couple of these wonders. First of all, Cliffs of Dover is awful. Uh, and then the other one that I don't want to have on is the Bermuda Triangle because I don't want there to be like wonders straight out in the middle of nowhere because I have to find one of these wonders. But anyway, that's, that's probably fine. Uh, just make a couple of changes there and then go ahead and jump into the game. So my goal in this one, it's a meme run, and my goal is to never research a tech or civic that I haven't boosted yet. So boost every tech and civic possible, and uh, don't proceed until you boost them. So that doesn't lend itself towards actually winning the game. I think if anything, I'll go for a diplomatic victory because uh, getting boosts for techs and civics implies having a really good production economy or a really good gold economy. Some of them you have to build like four trade routes, two shipyards, two banks, all, all those kinds of things really just imply that you've spent a lot of time on sort of your uh, economy, which sort of lends me towards a diplomatic victory. I mean, I could also go for a culture victory just because China is very good at a culture victory. But I'm picking China because if I'm going to go ahead and get all of these boosts, I might as well get that extra 10%. And it gives you more builder charges, which is some of the um, early boost quests. This looks like a pretty decent start. I do have stone here, and that's actually important because I'm planning on building Stonehenge, actually. Can I see where things are? Okay, so this is a pretty interesting ancient era. Let me uh, hide the key there. Pretty interesting ancient era. Usually, uh, the couple ones that I've spun up and, and just checked around uh, what the random tech tree looks like. There's only one or two buds to get you to the classical era, and there's usually one of these techs has like three spouting off of it, but these are all pretty fair. I think I think if I'm gonna try to go for um, Stonehenge, I need to build mines, and I don't see a whole lot of tiles that could be improved by horses. Maybe these couple and some up here. So I'm gonna go for mining, absent any information over here, but I think I'm gonna also settle in place. I am gonna ruin this uh, grassland hill by settling in place, but I get really good tiles in my inner ring. I get, I get a 2-2 tile and then 2-3 food tiles that can turn into uh, a farm triangle ultimately. Like this this right here, that's feudalism, especially if I built another city over here. What are the other options? I guess I could come settle on this tile. And then I have two 2-2 two, two tiles to work and more food down here. And then I have Stonehenge next to the capital. I don't think it's worth losing the turn to do that. I guess another thing I could do is come settle on this tile, build the Stonehenge here, and then that opens me up to have another city on the coast up here. But that gets me pretty far away from all these good tiles. I think I'm going to settle in place. I think I'm going to not worry about it. I am going to have to play very cautiously this game. Uh, I need to get a whole lot of boosts early on, like in Code of Laws, or sorry, in uh, the Civics Tree. Once I finish Code of Laws, I'll have two of these, and they could be really anything, but a lot of the Civics are kind of hard to boost. So I'm, I'm a little bit worried. I'm, I'm purposely not going to get a whole lot of science and culture to keep the turn costs of all of these texts and Civics pretty high so that I can uh, have as much time as possible to complete them. I'm gonna go for a scout early because I need to find both a second continent and a wonder. I need to find a wonder because I need to, uh, oh, there's a city state. I need to find a wonder because I need to boost astrology so that I can take astrology and then get uh, a religion. I need to get a religion because that's the boost for theology. Let's see, I do have a governor title. I think right now, uh, Owls of Nerve is looking like the best uh, secret society for me for now, because it just gives you a raw amount of gold, and I will be building a bunch of commercial hubs anyway. Like, I'll probably build a hub in the capital, and then maybe even a harbor in the capital too, because I know I need to build two harbors. I need to build a campus that's next to a mountain. These are all just based on the boosts that are in the game. I've done a little bit of uh, pre-planning for this. Okay, there's a barbarian camp. I need to find a two barbarian camps, one to get the clear on and one to just farm. So I'm going to actually, I'm gonna take vision off of, off of this barbarian camp. I'm not gonna actually clear it yet because I don't know whether I need to or not. Because if iron working is sort of early in the classical era, then I'll want to have killed three barbarians. Similarly, I'm going to get a slinger here while I have the chance. 
And so anyway, I need to clear one barbarian camp, but I also need to have a pet barbarian camp to have a constant supply of units that I could kill because there are a lot of uh, texts that imply having to kill um, having to kill units like um, kill a unit with a splinger, kill a unit with a spearman, kill a unit with a musket man. So having a barbarian camp that I know of. Okay, so we're pretty close to political philosophy already, which is good. Uh, and revealing where political philosophy is on the map will be great because uh, that's going to be an important civic. Okay, so there's Frederick. I'm going to send him a delegation right now. So we finished code of laws, we finished mining, so we're going to actually get some vision on the tech tree. But I'm going to go ahead and immediately send Frederick a delegation before I forget. And I'm going to hope that I don't get steamrolled this game. Okay, so mining is complete. Sailing is off of mining. And writing is down here off of pottery. So here's the thing. Astrology could be anywhere in any of these six. It could be right here. I think probably the best one for me right now is animal husbandry. Okay, mysticism has found a pantheon, and then state workforce has to found any specialty district. Okay, so that's going to be bad on two counts. First of all, I do have a government where I have God King, so that, that gives me my pantheon in 25 turns. Here's the problem. Once 20 turns pass, I'll start wasting culture. So does this change my behavior? Yes, I think it does. I think I have to build a campus as quickly as I can. Do I have any good campuses in the capital? I really don't. We did meet another civilization, so I could go for writing, even though animal husbandry might be better because astrology might be this one. I'm going to go with the goal of building a campus in the capital, even though it's not that great. I could also go for another settler. If I, if I take a settler, then I could settle another city and then potentially build a better campus. How long would I take that settler? 16 turns. Gosh. Oh, it's because they're working a marsh tile. But in a few turns, they'll grow. Do I want the growth or do I want the production? I think I need the production. So how does that update things? Still three turns until completing this slinger. Shall we? Okay. Yeah, but that's much better because now my um, cost of a settler is down. Okay, so we'll put some time towards mysticism first. Mysticism does unlock the oracle, which could be good. I think I'm going to go ahead and also appoint the owls so that I can get this extra economic policy slot and get the extra production. The early game is going to be the hardest part of this game. So we're going to appoint our owls. So now we have another economic policy slot. God King, urban planning, discipline. There we go. Actually, I probably should go... Oh, he's owls too, so that's good. Let's see if we can get a quick friendship with him, actually. So there is... Okay, never mind. There's a, a scout to kill with this slinger. Okay, there's another continent, which is good. Where is foreign trade? Foreign trade is up here, which is a, a throughput to the classical era, so that's good. The good news so far on these um, trees is that I don't see a whole lot of terminal buds. It looks like all of the texts lead somewhere, which is not usually, or I should I don't know about usually, but like sometimes it's the case that uh, an important tech is, you know, a dead end, and so it's it doesn't get you further along in the game. But it doesn't look like the ancient and classical era and this game are affected by that all that much. In fact, it looks like all of them are, are pretty connected. That is not what I experienced in my sort of trial run for this. Uh, it does look like there's a good city over here. I'm going to start moving towards the slinger, see if I can get the kill on him. He might actually move this way, in which case I won't be able to. We're going to get a settler. And we're probably going to settle over here. Like maybe even right on this tile. 
This could be a Lady of the Reeds and Marshes game because I do have two cities at this point that could benefit from Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. Yeah, they got the kill on that scout, which is fine, I suppose. I'm going to move this slinger up towards this barbarian camp because I want to get the kill. I want to get the boost to archery for a couple of reasons. First of all, I want to get the boost so I can get archery if I need it. But secondly, I want to you know, know where archery is. We're going to fortify one more turn here. And then we'll take a bop on the scout. And then potentially get the kill with the slinger. I'm not going to move... So he could either move here or here. I think I'll move my slinger. There's a goody hut. And there's another barbarian camp down here, which is excellent. And there's a one. Okay, beautiful. So things just actually aligned for us pretty well. So a couple things. Uh, I can take a promotion here. I think I'm going to let him absorb a hit and then take a promotion. But we have a second barbarian camp, which means we can clear the one up here. Or actually, we should probably come, come clear the one down here because it's a little bit more remote. And it's a little bit... Or sorry, it's a little bit more... This one's more remote, so we can probably keep it easier. This one's in the middle of everything, so we can clear it and get the boost. So where... Okay. We boosted foreign trade. I think it's time to switch into state workforce for a little while. Because foreign trade is a safe thing to go for. Let's see, I wonder how fast I can get this city down. If I put a city down here and then build a campus, that could give me the boost to state workforce. And it's okay if I waste a little bit of culture uh, in the early game. The, the important part is making sure that I get the boosts. So we also have astrology revealed. Where are you? Okay, you're off of animal husbandry. So this has been a whole waste of time, but I need to go for writing first because I need to get the boost. Well, actually, if I build holy sites... Well, I need two campuses. I don't necessarily need that many holy sites that early. I mean, I think theology is a medieval civic, which is the one that says build two temples. Hmm... Yeah, I'm, I'm more worried about recorded history than I am about theology. So I think I would stay the course and still build the campus here. I do need to research astrology so that I can get the um, Stonehenge. That's how I'm planning to get a religion is through Stonehenge. We could send an envoy to Brussels now that we have one, which gives us one production in the capital when building districts, everything. Yeah, I, I'm going to hold off on that envoy for just a little bit. Okay, and now we will back up. This slinger can come over here. And try to get some damage on these barbarians. I'm going to leave these barbarians alone. Maybe Namadel will, will take care of uh, the rage that's going on. But I also hope Namadel doesn't kill them. Okay, so with this city, we actually have two good spots. We have a holy site and a campus, which is great. I do want to mark it in here as well. Because I need to build to, or sorry, I, I need a commercial hub. Because I need to be able to build markets and traders and all kinds of stuff. This is going to be really hard. Especially if Germany's going to kill my barbarians for me. But anyway, we got what we needed out of the scout. We got a wonder and we got a, a second continent discovered. So things are going well as far as the things that uh, are sort of out of my control. All right, he's already happy with me. I'm going to take a friendship with him. Great. So now I've avoided an early war. I need to get in here with my slinger. I need to also get the um, boost for um, killing three barbarians, which is harder than it looks, apparently. We're going to take Alpine, move this warrior here. Oh no, it looks like Frederick's going to get the clear on the camp, because I can't get past him.
Yeah, he got the clear on the camp. That's not good. So none of these barbarians down here are actually useful. And I've gone on an entire red herring. I need to come back up to that camp. I need to get the city down. I could build the gray bath. Where's my other cities going? I guess this land is pretty crinkly. There's not a lot of farms here, but if I actually even just get down here and get a couple of these farms, which are going to be in this big mega complex, that could be really good. Let me look at the settler lens here. If I settle on this tile, that blocks every other city in here, which is okay. That's also a, a city on the coast for sailing. I mean, I think I could probably eke out one more city before I have to build the Stonehenge because it's going to be a while before I get there. Yeah, we'll build another city and then we'll build a builder. Oh no, Germany's trying to settle the land, same land that I'm trying to settle. Uh oh. I'm going to try to zone him out. Yeah, he went away. Good. This is my land. What are you talking about? So now I have to get to this barbarian camp before Namadol does, and I have to continue to try and defend it. Yeah, he's expecting me to move, which I plan to not do. So we need to get at least four cities. I don't mind having a small empire because I'm not really planning to win the game. I'm just trying to get as many boosts as I can. Okay, we're technically falling in loyalty, but that's fine. 17 turns to build this campus. That's going to improve over time. So we're going to go ahead and place this campus. Yeah, we're working the bananas, so in five turns we grow. And then we get more production towards this campus. Okay, so bronze working and masonry are over here. We can build a quarry because we have stone. We still haven't been able, been able to kill three barbarians. This just seems pretty difficult because, I mean, I guess it's both good and bad. I was hoping that there would be only a one through line to get to the classical era so that I could be able to just dump all my effort towards a single boost and leave some of these boosts behind. But not having enough terminal buds in here means I'm gonna have to get basically all of the ancient and classical boosts. But it seems like it's going so well, or so far so good. Okay, we have one title available. I'm not going to go for Pingala because I want to keep my science and culture per turn pretty slow. I could go for Reina. Reina would give me more um, gold per turn, especially in this city, which has lots of features. I do like that plan. Liang is not as important for builder charges because I am already China, so I already have a Liang built into every city. So if you think about it this way, Liang gives you a 33% boost towards the efficiency of your builders. But then once you're there, um, if you already have, if you're getting plus one more build charge, it's only a 25% increase to the efficiency of your builders, which is still quite worth it. But it, there's diminishing returns to getting uh, more charges on builders. Have you ever gotten to the end of the game? where you have a bunch of builders and you're like, okay, now I've built you know, these three improvements and then I have a builder that has three improvements left on it. Like, what do I do with him? That happens to me a lot. The early game is not quite as much of a consideration though, because there are so many tiles to improve. But I think I'll take the gold. And I'll appoint her to Longxi because Longxi has lots of unimproved features. And because technically Longxi is falling in loyalty ever so slightly. So then I could settle another city in, out in the middle of nowhere, like maybe right here and build an aqueduct. I'm just trying to figure out what my options are. I need to come uh, get a kill with this slinger because I need to boost archery. Like things look okay for now, but they won't be forever. All right, in two turns we'll have a much faster campus. Okay, it's time to switch away from state workforce because I... Um, I'm about to get the boost for it, and I can't complete it.
Okay. I don't like this Nama doll. Let's take our major victory here. We just need to kill three of these barbarians. And clear the camp. And then have another camp spawn near us somewhere and then use that to... Uh, farm in the in the late game. There is one. Oh no, I didn't get the kill. Oh my god. Uh. There is one boost in the late game that uh, I don't think I'll be able to get, which is to declare a war using a Casa Belli. That might be pretty difficult. I mean, I could technically declare a formal war with somebody that's completely far away from me. But I need to figure out how to get a Casa Belli. And I have to take a promotion here. I can't actually kill the Slinger, even though Namadol might kill the Slinger. This is a this is a nightmare. I think I have to fortify my Slinger, and see if they hit the uh, Spearman. Oof! This Slinger's gonna die, and I can't get a kill with it. There's no way to get out. This is bad. Okay, well. I can't let Namadol get the clear on that barbarian camp, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the scout. There's nothing I can do, unfortunately. Okay, there's a pantheon. There's a boost to military tradition. So I have to build another slinger, that's pretty bad. Okay, but we've got lots of choices here. I could take bonus production towards classical wonders, but I think well, there is a plus four harbor here with... Well, that's got lots of production in there. There are pastures over here, which is good. I think maybe I have to take Lady of the Reeds and Marshes just because I have low production in the beginning. Like, mines aren't really going to help that much. If I build a builder and, and uh, work on mines, then I'm essentially not using that builder for other quests such as building a quarry, farming a resource, getting a pasture. So I think I'll probably come settle this city next and then maybe get sailing up here actually. Yeah, I'm gonna need sailing boosted quicker than uh, the pasture here. So I'll come settle this second. I need to come settle this city. I could take Divine Spark because I'm planning on building the Oracle. I don't have any camps. I could take plus one culture from Plantation, but I kind of like the idea of keeping my culture on a slow roll. So I think I'll take Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. I have two Marsh tiles, which is about as much as I can ask for. And then if I get more, then it'll be better later. Yeah. It benefits my capital and my second city. It doesn't benefit anything else really that much, but... That means I can lock out of that tile and towards that one. Okay, so now we have military tradition down here. We've got craftsmanship and early empire. We're going to get the boost to early empire. That's a given. Like in a couple turns, we'll have that. So I could put my time towards early empire and then see what tech is there to see what boost I need to make. Another option would be to go for foreign trade, but I haven't finished my specialty district quite yet. I still don't need a, an envoy. And let's let's go on the next turn. Unfortunately, I didn't get everything I needed to do out of this barbarian camp. So I'm going to be pretty far behind in terms of science. Okay, so they're actually recommending I settle on that tile. I wonder what I don't see over here. We need to build another slinger because I need to boost archery in order to get into the classical era. I don't know where archery is, but it's probably up here with my luck. Oh, I was going to coast, uh, found the city on the coast first. I'm going to build that campus, and the next thing I'm going to build is a monument. 
And we're gonna hit go for a dark age. It's great. Basically fine with me. Another thing I could always do, rather than having pet barbarians, is I could declare war on some of these city-states that are nearby. Oh, that's, I forgot about our campus, so it'll be a normal age. That's fine. So we finished our slinger. I'm going to have this slinger around just to see if I can find barbarians to kill. I think we need to go for another settler. Why are you working the stone? Oh, because you have two population. Actually, in one more turn, we'll have astrology finished. So I need to build a builder. Actually, I probably should have built a builder a while ago. Yeah, I want a monument in here so we can get some of these better tiles and, and particularly take tiles away from Germany. But I also need a builder. We do have a governor promotion and reign is established. Let's go ahead and grab forestry management. So now we're getting more gold per turn from this, which is great. Yeah, I think I'm going to screw over Longshi. I think I'm going to build a builder so that I can actually boost the Stonehenge when it happens. And if I build it here, then I could put two theater squares there. Actually, if I build it here, I could put two theater squares there and have an entertainment complex there and then ultimately like a coliseum there. Anyway, those are decisions for later. Uh, I'm going to put a little time into a settler instead of a builder over here because I'm going to send this builder up to, to build the Stonehenge. I could grab uh, conscription, but I would rather keep um, my barbarian. There's uh, the Inca. I'd rather, oh my gosh, there's astrology. Inca, delegation, thank you. Where are we with great people? Nobody's earned any points toward a great profit, so that's pretty cool. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'd like to settle up here so that I can get these fish and amber, have a better harbor. Although that comes with a disadvantage. Like if I settle right on this tile, then I do technically get some of these farms and I can um, grow the city to be taller and work some of the, more of these hills. I don't think I'll be going for a harbor economy this time. I don't think I have that many cities, honestly. So I think I'll just take the plus three harbor. All right, astrology is finished. Now we have irrigation and the wheel. Well, it's a good thing we're building a builder because I could and I could farm a resource on the way towards the Stonehenge. I don't know what's over here in the classical era. Pyramids would be nice, but do I have a desert tile for that? I don't think I have a desert tile to build the pyramids. I need to be able to rip stone up. So I'm gonna go for masonry because I need I need to be able to be able to place this holy site in Longshi. Looks like there's another city over here, that's good. There might be another city over here too. Look, that's a plus two campus across the way. So he's actually happy with me, even though he just uh, was mad at me with my secret society. He's probably mad that I'm not anywhere near the mountains. Although I do have a city over here that's nestled quite closely to the mountains. So we're going to settle this. There's our early empire boost. There's sailing. Yeah, I think I'll finish early empire. That gives me another governor title. That also gives me the colonization card so I can start producing um, faster settlers. Oh, state workforce is already done. So I actually should have swapped out this card. Now that I think about it, I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. We need to start Stonehenge actually. And in one turn we'll have another population which can make this even faster, which is great. In Zhaodong, um, I don't have harbors unlocked yet, so I'm going to take a granary for the housing. And I think I'll probably just buy this tile to make sure that Namadol doesn't take it. 
I mean, I could buy a monument and that might serve the same purpose, but it's a, uh, this is the safer route. And I also get to work the tile immediately. So there's the classical era. We've got early empire. We're gonna swap in Corvée for sure. I like colonization, but we don't have the slots for it yet. And I think it's a no-brainer to take free inquiry because we're going to be planning to get a, get those boosts anyway. So early empire is finished. Recorded history, we can build two campus districts. Okay, it requires foreign trade, but I think we could get foreign trade. I'm actually gonna spend some time like juggling because the only one that I don't know is this tech right here. Games and Rec is not very good. Recorded history is here. I'm I'm going to go for craftsmanship because that gets me closer to seeing if that is actually political philosophy. I think political philosophy is pretty important for the classical era here. All right, we've got Reina in place. I think maybe Leong is the next one to get because I need more builder charges. I'm going to have tons and tons of builders that I need. And I'm like Pingala would be the obviously correct choice, but I'm trying to keep my science and culture low. So now that I think about it, maybe Jiao Dong would be the right place to put the builders or to put Leong. Jiao Dong doesn't have a whole lot of production yet, but if I get a bunch of mines there, then I could just have Xiao Dong basically just export builders to the rest of my empire. I don't want to put it in the capital because I have too many things that I'm building in the capital. We still need to kill a unit with the Slinger. And masonry is boosted, or it's in boost range here. I'm going to go for sailing and see what tech is here. Actually, I should be able to tell by process of elimination, right? Uh, that's archery, so... I don't need to do that, actually. Mine a resource. I don't have any resources to mine. There's salt up here, but I'm a tile away from that. I guess I have to hope that I have iron. Now that I think about it, I should have started the game with a balanced start. So that I could have made sure that I have both uh, iron and niter. I might have to go settle some cities later in the game just to get my boost. I'm going to put some time towards bronze working, actually, because I don't want to finish the text anyway. I don't need anything from this, the tech tree right now. So I might as well not finish the text and not increase the cost of things. Okay, I think with this builder we'll have Stonehenge. As a matter of fact, I could build this builder in here and then also buy a builder. It's only 200 gold. I could wait till um, the Ang is finished. So there is another city over here, even that doesn't zone out this city, which is good. How many turns will it take? It'll take me five turns to get there. That's probably about as good as I can do. Let's grab a monument out of here so we can start picking up these better tiles in this area. I'm purposefully keeping some of my area not discovered so, because I want these barbarian camps to spawn. Let's put some time towards the wheel. Oh man, we need to buy this tile. Do we? No, not really. Maybe Lady of the Reeds and Marshes wasn't quite the right call. But I didn't want to go for anything that was culture-based. I wanted to go... Oh. Well, okay. I wanted to go for something that was um, production-based. So let's see. If I settle a city right here... That means I could settle a city right here. I kind of don't want to quash the pasture so that I can have a good tile in this city. And then that has... Um, a decent holy site in there. 
could be a campus and a holy site. Sorry, campus here, holy site here. I guess that campus could also be in the capital. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so we need to switch away from craftsmanship. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, tech four and trade because that gets me to recorded history, which is something I'll be able to boost pretty quickly. Wheel is almost done. Let's go for irrigation. Oh no, the Inca are over here. I'm about to get I'm about to get penned in, aren't I? I could declare war and steal the settler. How many turns are I fr am I friends with him? 20 more turns. Okay, so I can't declare war with him for a very long time. What I could do is just try and zone him out of this area. We're going to see where he goes with it. Hopefully he'll just back up. So my builder's in place. I can add some production to Stonehenge. He's waiting for me to move, which is a good sign. So there's Stonehenge, which is the boost for drama and poetry. We can confound a religion, which we can do next turn because I have to move my builder. I need to put some time towards a settler. I could take a campus in here because I haven't built any uh, unique districts yet. We need to improve three tiles. So there's going to be a quarry. There's going to be a farm. And then what else? A pasture. Overall, this is going quite well. I've done the things that I need to do in order to get my boosts. I'm going to skip this turn for now. Just see what happens with the settler. He's coming down. As long as I can get both of these cities, I think I'm in okay shape. Because five cities is, is like a decent amount. So there's a religion. Which is going to be Confucian. And... I think maybe work ethic is the way to go. I don't have very strong holy sites, but having that little extra production will help tremendously for everything else. I could also take Feed the World. All world wonders provide plus four faith. That's pretty bad. Even though I'm building a bunch of wonders, that's still pretty bad. Because like, how many of those are you going to get? Like, I think Earth Goddess is probably a better belief than Divine Inspiration. I don't really want to boost campus and theater squares all that much. Although being able to buy the buildings with faith might be good because then I can just buy it on my own time. I'm not going to have a very strong faith economy this time. Like look at my holy sites. This is a plus three site. This is a plus two site. I don't see really like that's a plus two site. I don't see myself having a very strong faith game this time. So buying campus and theater squares with faith is probably not going to work. Yeah, I think it's work ethic, even though work ethic is not going to be very strong. And then maybe meeting houses to just double down on that production. Or I could get pagodas because pagodas would allow me to go for a diplomatic victory ultimately. Would it trade one diplomatic favor per turn for two production per turn? I think I'd rather have two production per turn, honestly. Actually, I don't really care what uh, building I ultimately get because I wind up just delaying my tier three holy building anyway. So I think actually I'm going to go for one of these. Um, I think I'm going to go for tithe. 
Tithe is just very strong for building an economy, and an economy, being able to purchase things outright is going to be what gets me, um, gets me my boosts. There's a boost to theology. Perfect. So the next thing, we're going to build a quarry here. I'm going to finish sailing, because everything is already boosted here. Kill three barbarians. We still don't have. We still haven't killed a third barbarian. That's really rough. Because that means I don't know whether I have iron in my empire, which means I don't know if I can mine a resource. There's foreign trade. So I've finished my wonder. I can go towards colonization. And I think that's it. So we can put some time towards recorded history now. I'm going to go ahead and build this quarry. And wow, we're already on Great Wall. This game has flown by. Making a trade route is one of the boosts. So I could buy a trader in here. I need to boost recorded history. What are my districts going to be in Xi'an? So Xiaodong and this city will both have harbors. So I need four trade routes overall. So I need every city basically to have a trade route. Harbor, market, or sorry, commercial hub. I'm going to have a commercial hub in Longxi as well, even though there's not a good place for it, like maybe right there. Yeah, because I could put... Yeah, I could put... I could ultimately go for a culture victory here. If I put Xi'an's theater square there, this city's theater square there, I can put an entertainment complex right here, which is now a major adjacency bonus. I can put the Colosseum right here, or vice versa, depending. Let's see, it's within nine tiles, right? Within six tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So actually, neither of these tiles will hit Xiaodong. If I move it over, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can't actually hit every city. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't hit the city no matter what I do. So if I move it up here, Colosseum, Colosseum, there we go. And then I can build Longxi's Theater Square here, and then Longxi's Market here, or Commercial Hub, I should say. Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to have enough of anything to win a game any which way. I mean, I do have some flat land for, um, I do have some flat seaside resorts, but I don't have a good Eiffel Tower. I suppose in my capital if I quash the marsh. Okay, but then that means Longxi needs to grow really, really tall or else it won't be able to get this many districts. So I need to get a granary in here as quickly as I can. So we'll just queue that up. In Jiaodong, um, can't build the pyramids. I think we're going to get a trader so I can get that boost. Because where else am I going to get a trader? But that also means I need to buy a builder because I need to get three improvements done. Let's go ahead and take our builder. We can get our pasture here. And then that'll be it. And then I, I could also have some of these build charges go to build six farms for feudalism, but that's a little farther down the line. I am worried about this settler, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, let it happen. I really need to get political philosophy boosted too. Oh, my scout has been fortified this whole time. I thought I had him fortified until healed. Oh man, that was a big, big mistake. Well, let us ask him for open borders. He's going to pay me three gold per turn for open borders. That is awesome. I just completely forgot that scouts existed and that I had one and that like it would be good to go explore the world. Oops. So we're going to get a bunch of boosts next turn. Uh, I'm going to put some time towards archery. Well, actually, I could put some time towards construction. But I don't have the wield boosted because I can't mine a resource because I don't know where resources are because I haven't killed three barbarians. I need to go find some barbarians, like stat. 
I'm gonna basically I think I'm gonna lose the challenge here. Ugh. Everything was going so well too. It's just that Germany cut me off of those barbarians. And then Namadol. And then my, my slinger died. I didn't I didn't play this correctly because Namadol was in the area and I was like, I need to hurry. So where else can I go? I'm going to put some more time towards archery, but then I'm... Actually, let me go ahead and build the irrigation so I can see what boost that is. Because I might... Like, I'm locked out of this and this, and so everything down here I'm locked out of for a little while until another barbarian camp spawns. Okay, luckily he didn't block any of my settles, which is great. There's a lot of chocolate here. I think I'm going to settle this city first and then this city. And then that might be all the settling that I can do. Um, I don't necessarily want to bust the fog here because I want a barbarian camp to spawn. We should get production towards builders, I think. No, I still need to have colonization slotted in. Okay, so there's recorded history. His goal is to build two campuses. I never actually finished this. So Xi'an's going to build a theater square. It's going to build a commercial hub and it's going to build a campus. So we need to buy this tile and start this campus pretty soon because we're going to need to boost recorded history. Defensive tactics is one that I'm not going to be able to boost. I like, I'm, like, what could I do? Just make them mad at me and make them declare war. So that's one I'm exempting myself from because it's not one that you can proactively do for yourself. It happens to you. So I think everything's good here. I need to get enough faith to be able to buy a missionary so I can start converting my cities to my um, religion. So far that's just slowly going. Yeah, it'd take, what is that, 40 turns? It could be worth it to grab Moksha and double the religi religious pressure from here. I think since I have low faith game, it would be worth it to like spend some time on an apostle and use that apostle, apostle to get the religious um, spread and, and try to go for like a sort of um, passive spread. Although passive religious spread in Civ 6 is not very good. Ooh, there's engineering to build ancient walls. I guess I can do that. How long would it take me to build ancient walls? Eight turns? Nine turns in here? Yeah, we need to do that. And we probably need to do that before the granary, ultimately, because we're running out of things that we can safely tech in science. Like, this is not good, this is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Yeah, I think I, I think I lose here. Oh man. Well, I think this was still a fun one. I think I'm gonna still upload this, even though it's not quite a win. I mean, it's not a win of the arbitrary rules that I've created for myself. But I might actually revisit this topic or this concept later. Yeah, we need to actually build ancient walls first. Because engineering will be done in three turns, or in 12 turns. And the walls will take nine. This builder is going to come over here and build a farm triangle in the capital. Which really doesn't do anything until uh, feudalism anyway, but... We do need to build two fishing boats. Speaking of which. And also we need to build three mines. I'm fine building, spending this builder on a farm triangle at least because once we get to feudalism, it'll be pretty freaking good. Maybe I should also be just finishing this out so I can know where feudalism is.
because I want to go for feudalism as quickly as I can to get the extra build charges. There's the Congo. Thanks. Where are you? Can we send you a delegation? That's cool. Oh, he's actually in the same secret society as me, which is great. So I think maybe I should trade with Germany. Well, actually, I'm... Maybe I should trade with Namadal because I'm technically the Owls of Minerva, and that would give me more envoys towards Suzerainty. Do they want a trade? They want a heavy chariot. Yeah, that's this is fine. We'll get an envoy with them. And I think it's probably time to build a builder in here so I can start getting some of these tile improvements online. Okay, this settler is going to come over here. We need one more settler. We also need this campus. It'll take me 12 turns to make this campus. Versus games and wreck is boost construction. I think I'll put some time. I have 17 turns for defensive tactics here, so I can actually waste some more time and get away from recorded history for a minute. So I don't need to build this campus right now. I think maybe placing it is a good idea. So that the cost will not continue to rise. But really what I want is a settler. There is desert over here, so I could build the pyramids, potentially. But pyramids are not as important as China because you already have pyramids built into your sieve, you know? Oracle would probably be nice for this let's play. I'm going to try to make like all seven of these to be farms and I'm going to come get this fishing boat before anything. I don't have to buy this um, farm tile. We will probably replace this farm with a uh, seaside resort once we get the Eiffel Tower appeal. Actually it's only average so it'll never actually get to breathtaking even with the Eiffel Tower. I could build more woods around it to get it up to breathtaking. So they're at war. There's political philosophy. Beautiful. Political philosophy is off of games and recreation. Oh my god. This is so awful. Okay, I think this is probably it. This is probably where I call it. I don't think I won this one. And I don't think I want to continue. Uh, there's Kabul. We definitely are producing settlers already, so we want to do that. But I think, yeah, I think I'm... I think it's... It's cooked. I can't kill a barbarian. Oh, that's so frustrating. But anyway, this was actually pretty fun. Uh, I didn't expect this to go as well as I, as it did. I mean, I, I only got to the problem with the barbarians, but there are so many things that can go wrong with this idea. I think maybe playing Arabia would be a good choice as well, because that way you don't have to go for the Stonehenge and get your religion quickly. Because uh, you can just get the last profit for free. Um, I think also Mansa Musa might be a pretty good one for this because he has such just strong faith economy and gold economy and using two like immediate purchase resources like that could be pretty good. He's going to have a lot of trouble in the early game actually producing things. But once you get to work ethic, things might actually go off. I, I might give this another attempt with, with uh, Mansa Musa actually. That seems kind of fun. But anyway, I think that's going to that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching this attempt, and uh, don't forget to like the video. And if you'd like to see me try again, just let me, let me know in the comments. Uh, if no one's interested, then I just probably will drop this. But this was kind of fun, so I might come back to it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.